you been doing? So last week and we watched Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Now personally, I love this movie. Hello? What do you want? I'm shooting another video. Okay, Adam, seriously? Seriously. Shush. I know you had a new video come out. I don't want to hear it. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. As I was saying, personally, I love this movie. I've loved this movie since the day it came out, and yes, I have seen it before this past week. Anyway, it is one of the best movies Disney has ever made. I truthfully do love it. For you people that either A, skipped out on watching last week's video, or just missed out just because you didn't see it, you didn't get the info, anyway you didn't see it, this movie was about this group of explorers that go on an adventure to find the lost city of Atlantis. This movie starts out as the young explorer Milo Thatch, obsessed with the lost city, proposing to the board of the museum he works at to fund and head the expedition to the lost city. Well, basically, they just say no. They freaking decline. It's sad. They throw him out on the street with nothing. They fire him. He's done for. Done. His research, his job, his income, all of it is gone because they don't like him. Milo Thatch, he comes home, finds a strange woman in his house with a proposition for him. After arguing a little bit and Milo kind of freaking out because she is in his house, he accepts her proposal and they both drive to Mr. Whitmore's house. So after they get to the house, Mr. Whitmore, he gives Milo a package. And on the package it is a note from Milo's grandfather. He opens the package and it's the book that Milo had been searching for for 20 years and base his research off of. Mr. Whitmore offers to fund the expedition, which is a multi-million dollar expedition. Milo is flabbergasted and surprised that anybody would even do this. So he's like, yes, and he packed his stuff and walked out the door. From there, they set off from Mr. Whitmore's house, they get on the boat, they sail a little bit out, they launch the sub, and while they're on their way to finding the passageway to Atlantis, they run into a giant leviathan protecting the city. Once there, they meet the king's daughter and the king himself, and with the king's approval, they stay one night, but have to leave in the morning. So Milo and the king's daughter, Keter, go on a underwater swim to go and find this carving in the ruins of Atlantis underwater where Milo translates the carving and the writing that explains how and why everything is living down under the sea and how they're there and living and surviving and still alive after thousands and thousands and thousands of years. They both swam back up to the surface and found that the team that Milo came with had turned on them and were only on the expedition to find the power source and bring it back to the surface to make a butt ton of money. And they forced Milo to translate what it said and find where the crystal was so they can bring it back. From there, they go and find the king. The bad guy punches him in the face, basically knocking the wind out of him and inadvertently kills him in the end of the movie. They go down and find the crystal. They lock it away. And the good part of the crew that came along joined Milo and his quest. The villain takes the crystal and drives away, blowing up the bridge from where they're going and Atlantis itself. Milo and the Lanteans jump on their speed cruisers that are flying machines, whatever, and chase after the villain. They basically have an air battle dogfight type thing with a giant balloon. The villain gets turned into a crystal himself and blows up, and 
the Zeppelin balloon crashes and burns, resulting in the volcano that is right next to Atlantis erupting, and Milo and his band of good guys to run back to Atlantis and get the power source back. With the city saved, Milo and the crew are awarded with treasure beyond their wildest dreams, and the crew leaves, and Milo chooses to stay behind and rebuild the city with Kira. There you go, Movie Club. How did you like this movie? Please leave a comment down below telling me how you liked this movie, or if you liked it, hated it, what you liked about it, and join the conversation down below in my toe fungus, and... <laughs> Yes, my camera guy is laughing. I just called you the toe fungus because you know, that's the comment section. Anyway, but uh, please tell me what you did and didn't like about this movie. And also in the comments down below, tell me what what movie we should watch next. Anyway, this next week we're going to be watching the movie Clockstoppers. So next week we will come back and discuss that movie. Please send in your video responses within the next week, and maybe you can be part of next week's video. And please don't forget to drop a little comment down below in the toe fungus. Click that like button and also subscribe up top. And don't forget to share this on your Instagram, your Facebook, your Tumblr, all of that stuff, and share it with all of your friends so you can spread this around and make Movie Club bigger. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye. I will see you next week.